What's up my YouTube peoples? What's going on? Uh, a couple months ago, I created a video on teaching you guys, showing you guys how to calibrate uh, your TV, right? But for months after that, I've been looking and looking and looking for a tool that can help you calibrate HDR. Because when you calibrate your TV and you calibrate HDR, it's two completely different settings, okay? So, finally, after months of searching, I finally found a tool that can help you calibrate HDR, okay? The tool is called R. Maschiola's UHD HDR10 Test Pattern Site, okay? Now, this tool is not free. And so, um, for the files, for just the files, the MP4 files, um, you, can, uh, you can download them. Um, I believe uh, they cost about $25. I, I think that's how much I paid. And uh, you can also get the CD with the files. And that will cost you uh, $65, I believe, on, on his website. All right. But this tool is fantastic. I chose to just get the files because I don't. I really don't need the uh, the Blu-ray disc or whatever, um, the 4K disc uh, to calibrate. I can just put them on a USB stick or, as I did, uh, put them on my uh, my media server and access those files through there. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how to work this thing. So we're gonna launch it from my media server, and there's two folders here. You can choose either one. I choose MP, MP4. And the one we want is basic setup patterns. Okay. Now, these two um, selections here is for like if you have a meter, you're like a professional and you have a meter, then you can use this. Um, but, you know, we'll just move along and focus on these over here. Okay. So black clipping. What is black clipping? Black clipping is how you set the brightness, okay, of HDR. And as you can see, you can uh, you can see the uh, the colors blinking, the um, those little uh, boxes there blinking. And what you want is where it says reference black. You want that to be totally black, okay. Now the camera is catching it uh, a little too bright, but uh, right now I have it set perfectly uh, in real time. Okay, so I really don't need to touch that. All right. So reference black is completely black, and then the rest of the um, of the um, the patterns to your right is blinking, and that's normal. That's how you want it. As long as that reference black is jet black and there's no blinking, you're pretty much set. Okay. So we'll move along, and they have black clipping too. They have different like test patterns. Okay. So this is the white clipping. Now this will help you set the contrast, all right, of HDR, okay? And I've already done this, so I have my contrast set absolutely perfectly, okay? And uh, actually the camera's catching it pretty well, um, so it's pretty accurate in the camera and on the TV, so I don't need to touch that either. But what you want, um, for example, is for about 76% 77, 78, and 79 to be totally white, whited out. And the rest on the left hand side, uh, you want to see that blinking. Okay. So that's good. And they have different patterns here. Okay. So now the color bars is where you set the color of HDR. Okay. Now with this one up here, 100%, I chose that, uh, I found that this is not completely accurate. Um, I've tried to set it with this, and um, it just didn't look right. The colors look too, um, uh, too bloomished, uh, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Uh, too much color. So, I think this has to do with certain TVs that you mess with this. Um, like for example, this TV is not 100% HDR10. I believe it's HDR8. So, uh, so this pattern doesn't really quite work well in my situation. However, if you have an HDR10 TV, then this pattern may work really, really, really well for you. All right. But this pattern here is what worked the best for me. Okay. So let me let me just pause that a bit. Let me go to my settings. And what you want to do is you want to activate the blue filter that's built into your TV. Okay. And you'll basically find it in the expert settings. 
Uh, I'm using a, I have a Samsung TV. Uh, so this may be a little different uh, from the TV that you have. Okay. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to RGB only mode. And you want to select blue. And this is my TV's uh, built-in blue filter. Okay. Now if you don't have a blue filter that's built into your TV, you can purchase one. Uh, they're really, really cheap. They cost like about a dollar or two. I mean, they're extremely cheap. So it's really not that expensive. Okay. Now. The idea to calibrate this is just like pretty much the same as I discussed in my previous video when I talked about uh, video calibration is that uh, you want all of the bars completely in a solid color. Um, so that solid color in this situation is going to be blue. So you want it a solid color all across the board. So I'm going to let this run. Okay. And there it's running. So right now I have it set completely perfectly you see no, hardly any blinking to no blinking at all that's how you want it the boxes that are in each bar you don't want to see them you don't want to see any kind of blinking or any signs of them that's how you know you got the color perfect okay now i'm going to show you a brief example i'm going to hit color Right now I have it set to 51. So I'm going to take it off of 51 and show you guys exactly what I mean. You see those boxes there? You see that? You want it completely blended in so it's a solid color. That's where you want your color to be. So what you want to do is you want to slowly up it up, up up the color until it all gets blended in. And you see how it's getting blended in? You see that? That's what you want. If you go too high... Oh, let me launch this again. If you go too high, you'll see the boxes. So now I want to lower it down because I have it set too high. So as you put it down, you'll see it slowly start blending in. All right. So in my situation, in my case, it blends in perfectly right at 51. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Right at 51, it blends in completely perfectly. I see hardly any blinking whatsoever. Okay? So that's how you want it. You want it a solid color. Okay? And you want to do the same thing for the, um, for the tent. Okay? Now the tent is the two bars in the center. The color is the two bars in the outer, uh, sort of like Star Wars, the outer rim <laughs> on the two corners. Uh, but the tent is, how you set tent, is right at the center. So let me, uh, let me launch this again. Okay. So we're going to set the tent. And as you can see, I already have it set perfectly. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to take it out of that perfect. And you see it blinking? You see that? So what you want is you want to raise it up a little bit until it completely blends in. And that would be right at 48 for me. That's perfectly at 48. So that is completely blended in. Okay. So now I can exit out of this. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That's completely blended in. So now I can take off the blue filter. Run out here. Okay. And take off the blue filter. Boom. Okay. So now we're perfect. Okay. I'm going to pause this a bit. So now I'm going to go through a 4K movie with HDR. I'm going to resume it. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is perfect. The colors look fantastic. That's perfect HDR right there. Oh, it looks extremely natural. Okay. That's perfect. That looks fantastic. Okay. I'm going to pause it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. If you like the video, donate. Got a donation link. Peace out, brother.